the time to vote green because we've seen pretty clearly. How about the back? Can you hear me now in the back? Yeah. Uh, so I think now's the time to vote green because we've seen pretty clearly that our Prime Minister has been unable to follow through on his commitments. And I think we've all seen in these last four years the rhetoric gap has continued to swell and swell and swell. And whether it's electoral reform or promises around Indigenous relationships, or for many of us in this room, maybe around climate change. The uh, height of the promise and this bargain, this trade-off, the carbon tax in exchange for a pipeline, I think many of us are realizing is actually just, as I was saying before, completely insufficient. And so my sense is that if we can vote uh, Greens in, there is the potential that, that the balance of power can shift. And that with Greens in, par in, par in Parliament, at, in the West Bloc, that there is the potential that we can actually change that conversation, and that all of a sudden, rather than taking 4.5 billion and buying old pipelines to invest in the old economy, we could actually have an influence collectively to shift that, that, that spending, to spend it on actually retraining, retraining people across this country to be part of the economy of the future. So I think that we can encourage and influence our government to most importantly of all, think longer term. And that for me, if I'm speaking with you as someone who's thinking about voting green, that to me is the absolute core critical point that if we do not think longer term, if we have more greens, we'll be in a position to think longer term about the health of our economy, our environment, and ourselves. Thank you. Woo.